Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self-Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. And what I wanted to do this morning was, I wanted to have a discussion with you about the Trapper Nelson backpack. Very classic backpack, very traditional canvas and wood. And I'm trying to recreate that backpack. I have a couple of originals and I want to recreate it. The reason I want to do that, I'm working with Jason Hunt on this. Jason Hunt is sewing the canvas backpack portion for me and I'm recreating the wooden frame so that when we put them together we'll have a Trapper Nelson backpack. And the reason we're doing this is because we've started a new series of classes out here at the Pathfinder School called Camping and Woodcraft. And we have Camping Woodcraft 1, Camping Woodcraft 2. The first class is three days long, the second class is five days long. And what you learn in that class is not only how to set up a traditional style shelter, how to strike and set tents, how to build traditional type camp cooking fires and things like that. You also learn to cook traditionally with things like Dutch ovens and cast iron. But one of the main things that you're going to learn in that class is how to recreate or make your own gear. And in Woodcraft 2, which is a five day intensive class, you actually will make, hand make, with tools and sewing, a Trapper Nelson canvas and wood backpack. So I'm looking at ways that it's make it easy to recreate so that we can mass produce it in a class and make it easier for students to do it in a timely fashion. So let's look at this Trapper Nelson pack frame. I've got it apart and then we'll discuss a little bit in part one about how I'm trying to recreate the pieces and in part two we'll try to put it together. Stay with me. Okay so the Trapper Nelson frame is pretty simplistic in nature. The construction is not complicated. It's, a, it's made out of, looks like red oak on the stays for sure, possibly pine or poplar for the uprights. So I'm probably going to create the entire frame out of oak just for longevity's sake, although this pack here is probably from the 1920s, 30s maybe, something like that, so it's pretty old. It's got simple canvas straps. And what you've got is you've got a frame with two uprights that have bent, red oak slats and then you have a bar here and I'm not really sure what the entire purpose of that bar is. The straps are actually nailed to the frame here with nails and the frame is screwed together with lap joints here and then it has eye bolts here in three places on each side and then it has some metal caps that have been bent over and put on the top and the straps come down and they actually just connect inside here but they come through the back side here like this of the frame and connect here into these clips. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet there. don't know if I want to do it exactly like that or if I just want a loop that goes over the top. So anyway, that's the basis of the frame itself. Now, the rest of this thing is pretty simple. There is a piece of canvas that wraps around the frame. And that just keeps the frame probably off of your back. And it goes all the way around the frame. Your straps go through the top. And there's really not a lot of complicated sewing to this canvas. It's basically seamed on the edges for grommets to be put in it. And it's actually just cut. The canvas is actually cut where it goes over the top here of these eye bolts which is kind of strange to me that they didn't hem that in any way, but it's actually just cut right there. And then what they would do is they would take just a piece of string, and this again, this is the original that came on the pack, and they would take that string and cut it in half like this, and put that loop on this metal frame, or on the metal part is the way it came apart, like this, and came through the straps here. So that it was wrapped around here and then it was just crossed over like this and that's where they started wrapping these cleats or these grommets and it just basically laced like a corset around the pack frame itself. In basic cross stitch fashion just like you would lace up a pair of shoes. And what this canvas did was it kept 
an airspace there between the pack frame itself on the back side and your body. So we'll lace this up and then we'll put the pack on it. Okay, so now I've got it laced up and there's really not a whole lot of stress on these grommets. You just want to lace this thing pretty tight. And when I got this pack, what they had done is they had come up through the bottom here like this and just tied it off on the bar in a bow knot. They just came up through the bottom like this, pulled everything tight. tied it around like this and knotted it off and that's how that was set up and then this part here would clip here into these metal clips they're a little they're pretty strong clips as old as they are but I would imagine in the day probably a little easier to get unclipped because that would make it easy to take the pack off if you just unclipped it. Now, one thing I have noticed with this thing is that these straps are really short. Got this thing adjusted almost all the way out. And if I were wearing anything more than a light shirt, there's no way I could get that thing on. So that's the basis of the frame. It's just a piece of canvas with some eyelets wrapped around it and tied off. Now the pack itself is a very simple design as well. It's just pretty much a single bucket design pack, which I like really well. This one does have a front pocket on it. I have three of these. One of them has a pocket at the top. One of them has no pocket at all. And one of them has a pocket at the bottom. And then it's just basically got three grommets punched into the canvas that's seamed up on the sides. And those grommets sit over the top of these eyes, just like this, of these eye bolts that you've got in here, just like that. And then you take a wire stay drop it down through the grommet holes and that's what holds your pack to the frame on both sides this one happened to have three of them an extra one possibly tripod possibly makeshift little tripod hard to say probably more likely just an extra pretty I think it's a little bit flimsy for a tripod so this is not too hard of a backpack to recreate and it's a very serviceable backpack again this one's really really old and I could still use it today if I chose to and then it just had a large flap that came over the top to cinch it down and that was the Trapper Nelson pack frame okay so creating the pack frame is pretty simple my first dilemma was bending the pack boards and I'm gonna show you how I did that here in part one. I took all my measurements right off the original frame because Jason created the pack exactly off the original. So everything is the same dimension. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these boards and put them in a jig to bend them, these back pack boards that are bent. So I used all one by three oak for everything that I'm going to use on this frame. And I'll just cut it down to the right dimension. Now, I split one of the one by threes in half for my pack boards. And then what I did was I just traced with a pencil inside the arc of one of my originals, cut a one by eight or one by six, I think it's a one by eight, cut a one by eight to match that and just split it in half on the line and that formed my jig and then I took my wood and this is red oak and it's very pliable especially if it's wet and thin like this is because it's a long fibered hardwood so I soaked it in a bucket of water with rocks on top of it for about an hour pulled it out stuck it between these two blocks and just squeeze clamped it together you can see this one says number three because I have two more when these are dry they will stay in this arc and they'll have a permanent bend in them 
and they can then be attached to the pack frame itself with the lap joints. Okay guys, well I appreciate you joining me for part one of recreating the Trapper Nelson pack frame. And we discussed how the frame's put together, how it works. Again, this frame here is probably from the 20s or 30s, something like that. It's a very traditional pack. It's also called the Alaskan pack frame. And showed you a little bit about how we're going to recreate the bends in the pack frame itself and talked a little bit about the pack boards. In part two, we'll go ahead and assemble the frame and try to get the pack put on the frame that Jason made that he'll be bringing this weekend to the basic class. And this will be one of the main projects in woodcraft and camping or camping in woodcraft two here at the Pathfinder School. And it will involve several projects, one of which is the Trapper Nelson backpack, one of which is an oil cloth tarp, one of which is an oil cloth anorak, and I believe the fourth main project is a canvas hammock, if I remember right. So check our website for that. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. Don't forget to check us out at www.selfrelianceoutfitters.com for a list of our available classes as well as our merchandise. Thanks, guys.